Greetings my beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy. it's so good to see you and welcome back. Today I'm going to be making funnel cake because we usually like to go to the fair at the end of summer. It's a wonderful way to kind of close off summer and to begin fall, but this year we were unable to do that. So I'm going to be making funnel cake because even though we didn't make it to the fair this year, it doesn't mean that we can't have reminders of the fair and all the fun that we have there. So today I'm going to be making funnel cake and the recipe comes from this wonderful book called Mennonite Community Cookbook. This was sent to me by lovely Sarah. Sarah, thanks again for sending me this book. It is filled with marvelous recipes, including funny pie cake and lots of other recipes, tried and true. And I'm so excited to be making this today. Favorite family recipes by Mary Emma Scholwalter. And it is filled with gems, including this one for plow lines or funnel cakes. And apparently, plow lines comes from the fact that some farmers used to plow their fields in spiral pattern, which is how these funnel cakes are sometimes made. So some people believe that funnel cakes have their origins back in Germany and were brought to the US by the Pennsylvania Dutch. Now, the reason why it's called a funnel cake is that a funnel is often used to distribute the batter into the hot oil and it's crisscrossed and swirled to create this floating raft of donuty goodness. You can find funnel cake cousins all around the world, including in Germany where it's called Schrauben and up in Finland where it's called Tipalepa and even in India where they have something called Jalebi. All of these are made with a batter that's distributed in hot oil and coated either with sugar or honey or some kind of sweet syrup. All of it sounds wonderful. So let's go ahead and make homemade funnel cake. Can't wait, this is gonna be so good. In a large bowl, we're gonna take three eggs quarter cup of sugar. The recipe says this is optional, but this is a funnel cake. It's supposed to be sweet. Break that up. So I'm doing a little initial whisking here to incorporate the sugar to the eggs. Two cups of milk. I recently got this silicone whisk and I like it. It's so quiet. In the separate bowl, we're gonna sift our dry ingredients. We're gonna begin with four cups of flour. So I read that funnel cakes were originally made with yeast and it wasn't until relatively recently that they were made with baking powder. Half a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder. And now we're gonna combine our dry into our wet. And mix this until it's smooth. This is going to be the funnel cake batter. Now, I've seen lots of videos and recipes claiming that you can just do this with pancake mix, store-bought pancake mix. I've never tried it before, but this is essentially a pancake batter, right? So, yes try it or if you've tried it let me know in the comments i want to hear about it because if it's easier for you i'm all about it yeah 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 so mix this in incrementally and it says you want this to be smooth so our funnel cake batter is made now i'm going to get some peanut oil so we can fry our funnel cakes in case you don't have a thermometer let me do a little batter test to give you an idea of what it may look like at this temperature. So when you add a drop of batter, it sinks to the bottom and there's some bubbling, but not a lot. So that's pretty good, I think. Look, so it kind of puffed right up. So I think we're pretty close. So when I was looking at different recipes and videos on how to make funnel cakes, a lot of people just drizzled the batter right into the hot oil. But what I noticed is oftentimes the batter would kind of float away. It was a little bit tricky to get a cohesive funnel cake. But in one video I watched at Clifton Hill, Niagara Falls, at a funnel cake stand, they used a metal ring like this. This is typically used, I think, in baking to create mousses and cakes. They used a ring to kind of corral the funnel cake batter in. And after it kind of congealed and set up, they removed the ring, and then you got this really nice round plate size funnel cake. So I'm gonna try that today. 
you don't need one by any means. So let's try our oil again. It says our oil is at 300 degrees. And yes, I think we are ready. Place my metal ring in there. So there are a few different ways to make these. If you don't have a funnel, you can use a plastic bag and just cut off a corner, or you can use a squeeze bottle. I've seen people do that as well. But I'm gonna try using a funnel, and we're gonna use the, our finger as the way to start and stop this. So we're gonna plug this up and fill it up with some batter. Alrighty, here we go. Oh, I think, there we go. Kind of thick, so I think I'm gonna water my batter down. Look at that. I think my opening of my funnel is a little small. Cause look how small the squiggles are. The ring is doing a good job keeping everybody in. <laughs> I'm gonna do another spiral, tie everything together. I'm gonna move slowly because it's coming out of my funnel very slowly. So that was about one cup of funnel cake batter. So now that it looks like everything is kind of set, I'm gonna remove this ring with the help of some tongs. And we have released the funnel cake, and now it's able to float and crisp up on its own. All right, here we go. Very nice. I've got a tray here lined with some paper and we're gonna allow this to drain. All right, I think this is done. So I'm gonna drain it like this. Oh, this looks gorgeous. Drip any excess off and then place it on a rack to drain a little bit further. And this time I'm gonna try a pouring method using this little pitcher. Just gently pour it. Swirl it around. Wow, that one's fat. <laughs> so I just flipped over the giant funnel cake that I used the pitcher to make, and I don't know that I recommend it. Maybe if you get more practice, but as you can see here, I poured too much batter, so it fluffed up, but it's huge and puffy, but you don't have that nice little kind of squiggly pattern that you have typically with funnel cakes. It is massive too. So I think using a pitcher, you tend to distribute too much batter. I have my ring and a larger funnel. Let's try it, here we go. Oh yeah, this is the size squiggle we want. Yep, got it. So circle, then crisscross, then crisscross this way. Finish with one more loop around. Yes, I think we got it. In terms of the flow or the stream of the batter coming out, I think that was the correct thickness. The first one seemed a little too thin. The second one, when we just freeformed it, was way too thick. This looks just right. Yeah, Goldilocks. <laughs> Lift the ring, capture it just like that. Gently fry this, and when it's golden, we'll flip it. Alrighty, here we are. Look at that perfection. Yeah, baby, that's beautiful. You are gorgeous. Gorgeous. This is perfect. Take this out, drain it, and then we're gonna eat this. We are now going to grace this with a liberal dousing of powdered sugar. Here we go. <laughs> Gorgeous. I love how the powdered sugar just highlights all the nooks and crannies.
You of course could eat this with a knife and fork if you like, but if you were at the fair, this would be served to you on a floppy paper plate and you would use your fingers and you would do this. Oh my gosh. And you would hand the plate off to your friends and family and they would all rip off a piece and they would all do this. Eat the ducky moth. Mm. So delicious. I'm gonna add more powdered sugar because I want more. Oh my goodness. Another bite. Just like at the fair crunchy and crisp on the outside, slightly chewy in the middle, fully cooked, there's no raw batter. The powdered sugar just melts in your mouth. A little bit of sweetness, not overly sweet. So there are tons of different versions of funnel cake. This is my favorite, I just like it with powdered sugar, but you can get it topped with strawberries, whipped cream, pretty much anything you can imagine. But this is how I like it, just with powdered sugar. Mm, 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 mm. Now we can bring a piece of the fair home homemade funnel cakes to die for. Absolutely scrum diddly umptious. All right, my beautiful lovelies, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends, follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye.